What's up guys? I got my two rods out with me today. One for bullhead and one for anything else. And then we're just gonna be fishing the lake right here. It's uh, been cut off, it's been dried up, and this whole little part's been separated. And there are a ton of decent sized fish just hanging out here. I'm gonna be setting up these night crawlers onto my uh, loose rod. It's a six foot six. We're gonna be tossing this on there. It's got a 10 pound floral clear. And we got a really simple setup right here. It's just a bead, some weights, and then a little hook at the end. Uh, we're just gonna be tossing this out and waiting, putting it on the stand. All right, with that baited up, let's go ahead and toss this out. So I did toss it out over here last time and I wasn't having much luck, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a toss out over here just so I can fish my regular rod where I want to, where there's more action. And next to it, we have the uh, five foot South Bend ultralight rod with a Fluger tree on reel, as well as a small Rebel Bumblebug. We're just gonna be tossing out in this clearing right here and seeing if we can catch at least uh, one or two fish while we wait for the bullhead. Oh, there's a little fish popping around. Oh, there we are. I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at the uh, bullhead rod and we got hooked up. Let's see what we got right here. Oh, wow. That's a tough, tough little fish. Oh, it's a little bass. He ain't bad. It's a good looking fish. Oh, wow. That's a good looking fish right there. Look at that beauty. I was not paying attention. <laughs> I looked away for a little bit because I was looking at the, uh, I was looking at the uh, bullhead rod and this guy just popped me out of nowhere. But yeah, look at that. Whew. Got some, oh, got some weight to him. This is a good looking fish though. Oh man. He's fairly heavy for his size. Decently thick. All right. Let's go ahead and let this little dude go. Get on out of here, bud. All right, well, got the Rebel Crick Hopper and the back treble is missing a hook, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Five out of six hooks is probably good enough. I scared off whatever that is though. Oh, there we are. Now we're on. We're on. Oh, I thought I scared it off, but he's on. Oh, wow. That's a good bass. Oh, that's a good bass. Oh, you ain't leaving me, buddy. Oh, whoo. You're getting away from me, buddy. Whoo. You got me soaking wet. But he hit that grasshopper and I got him. I thought he was a trout. Whew. Nice. That was uh, really lucky. He popped off right at the bank. Let's go ahead and get him on out. Oh, that was great. There we go. 